Oh, well, that's crazy. What's up, Wisconsin Gold Rush? Let's do it. Hello? What's up, bro? Not much, man, driving. How about you? Good, same. Nice, that's crazy. Where are you going? Um, actually, I'm going to visit my grandma in Green Bay. Oh, I'm actually going to Green Bay as well, but to visit my uh, my mother-in-law. Very cool. Yeah, maybe we could like hang out or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, a five-hour road trip down the hatch. I still have how much? 37 minutes left. 37 minutes left. So that's not bad. Hey, hey. 37 minutes, five-hour road trip, half an hour left. Can't wait to just take off my socks, my shoes, set up camp, maybe eat some food, drink a beer or seven, take my socks off, and enjoy the Wisconsin sunlight on my toes. So stay tuned for the campsite. Finally touched ground, five hours later. Guess who I found? Who is that? It's Wisconsin Gold Rush. Let's do this again, part two of the gold panning experience. Still in Wisconsin, but a different part, trying to find some pickers. That's a good point. I like it. Having everything be perfect, there's got to be your like, cup of tea. Look at the size difference of these tents. I thought my tent was like decent. He brought a castle. A little bit hard to break. That would have broke your dick. <laughs> Were you recording that? That was <laughs> yeah. almost my balls. So what should we say? I don't know. We're here. We we trucked like a mile already with a bunch of random shit, and now we're almost there. We have still have like a good ten minute walk. We're now trying to find a spot, but it's kind of a far walk. It's a very far walk. Under all this stuff, hauling all this stuff, it's yeah. Kind of tiring. It's kind of tiring on the on the shoulders and life. But we're almost there, and we're gonna start panning, test panning, sluicing, all the juice, and let's just start uh, finding some gold. Start Sounds good, man. Day. We're in nature and a uh, beautiful day, so let's get that gold. Let's get some nuggets from that lake. Let's do it. What do we have here? Now this is a sight. <laughs> so we actually are going to try to test pan this place right here. What is it called? The rock. The rock. Well, we are going to try to test pan this rock tree stump that fell over right here because there's some good spots here and maybe there and in like here. So we're going to try to test pan it and see what we get because it looks a little bit promising and it looks fun. So adventure time. Venture off into the wild. Let's get some test pans going. Oh, there's that feeling. Have a nice full pan just splashing around. I know, right? Getting really dirty. dirty. Nothing. Well, we're at a new place. We're gonna test pan some buckets. Come on, filled out. Mr. Mike from Wisconsin Gold Rush. Let me use his uh, classifier. So I got a bucket full of concentrates. Time to pan it out. <gasps> and guess what I found? My first, where is it? My first piece of gold. Do you guys see that? Bam! Time to bring out the sluice, the big guns. He has a dream mat, pulling out rocks, throwing boulders making splashes. I got my sluice perfectly angled in that water right there uh, to catch the most amount of material ever <laughs> recorded. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna put the sluices in and then start working hard. Sun's going down in like three, four hours. We have to get to work. So let's start, let's start moving some boulders. All right. 
right, we got the sluices set up. It took about half an hour. It's running decent. So let's see how much gold we can find with the sluice. There's gold, guys. There's actual pickers. It's not flower gold anymore. We're stepping up the game in life. So let's clean this out and see what else we got. Cause there's a good amount of gold in here. Got the GoPro going and I'm gonna put these mats out cause the sun's going down. Let's get one more sluice cleanup and call it a day. Cause we still got some, some, some campfire stories ready to be told in this beautiful state of Wisconsin. Hell yeah! I almost, balls on him. I almost did it today. Which is made out of fucking tungsten. We are done for the day. Sun's going down, everything cleaned up, kind of. Got the sluice ready, buckets, shovels, and just a long hike home. Well, welcome back. Day two, the gold prospecting adventure with Mr. Mike from, from Wisconsin Gold Rush. We're here hauling stuff and sluices. Mike makes this awesome makeshift uh, child, um, what is this, a bike? It's a bike carrier for a kid, but I stripped it down and made a carrier. That's right. Stuff. He has all his stuff in there. And I'm over here hauling shit like a bitch, but it's okay. Uh, walking down the, uh, to the river, gonna start panning. We're gonna meet some other YouTuber over there. Hey, you guys, we're back day two of this adventure. We got Mike from Wisconsin Gold Rush, and we got Charles from AU Prospecting. And we got Mike, his brother, Charles. Charles' brother, there you go. We got three sluices set up, one, two, three. I just cleaned mine out, so I can't wait to just get some more dirt in there. We got a hole going in here, just pretty deep. There you go, there you go, right to the nutsack. So we're good. Hey, I thought I saw a frog. I picked it up with my yeah, shovel. Yeah, yeah. That is so yeah, awesome. Mine, like, I mean, I it looks like a dragon. Yeah, Can yeah, I have yeah. it? Yeah. Um, no, it's just, uh, I don't so even remember what kind of kid. Let's see when the goes out and get to the bottom of the tree.
adventure is over day two unfortunately i do have a five hour drive home so i don't want to drive home in the morning at all because it's just gonna suck i don't feel like grabbing my tent in the morning and, and just hauling shit so i'm gonna call it a day scott's and gold rush in the back mike in the back over there peeing and mr charles from au prospecting hey you guys i'm sorry it's fine. and then uh yeah we had a good time just a bunch of rocks and a bunch of gold a lot of messes and uh, good times fun adventures and uh just enjoying life in nature so stay, stay tuned for the fun video and the snuffer dump and me just being dumb so enjoy life eat some ice cream and have fun bye so this is the juice uh, i classified everything into random uh, pans and i will show you what i got so this is uh the medium sand this is the black sand all the heavy metal look how crazy this is and this is from the river. Like what in the actual F is this? You know what I mean? This is from a river? Are you kidding me? This is from my shoes. Uh, I use my fishing shoes on top of my waders. So I actually dumped this up because I went fishing today. And uh, this is from my actual shoes of the trip. So I'm actually excited to see what I have in here. Uh, this is just like the, the bigger pieces and this is the tiny. This is the tiny fly poop. So um, this is where the gold's gonna be because we were in Wisconsin. Before I start this, I'm actually gonna pan out the uh, the boot, the boot juice. <laughs> the boot juice really fast. I'm actually curious to see if there is any gold in the juice of the, of the boots. Can you imagine if I, if I found some gold in my shoes? Damn, this actually sand is actually very nice. And I guys won't be able to see it um, but I will be able to see it. So if there's a speck of gold, I will show you guys in my boot. Hmm. So there's actual piece of gold in here. Where are you? Where are you? It's right here. There's an actual piece of gold that I caught in my shoe, in my shoe dirt collage. So there's one piece of gold that I got in my shoe, as weird as that sounds. Um, so, <laughs> so off to a good start, off to a good start. We got the sleucinator going. Uh, from Modern Prospecting, got our trusty uh, reared random rainbow spoon and a little bit of concentrates. So we're gonna, we're gonna feed this to the sleucinator and see how much we got. This is, how, this is how I'm scooping right now. Just scoop, waiting for it, and the GoPro is just taking all of it. <laughs> I love this thing. Well, this dirt didn't have any gold in it, so I just kind of put it to the side. And now I got the finest of the fine, so hopefully this has some gold. I'm gonna sluice this and see what I got. I'm like seven scoops in, seven-ish, give or take 19. But there is some gold. There is some gold accumulating. Not a lot, but hey, it's something, all right? What's up, tokes? Well, I finally finished, and there's a bunch of black sand under here, so I can't wait to see what is in here. But so far, we, hey, 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 what the hey, shh. So far we got all of this. I'm gonna repan this again and see if I missed anything. But so far, it's looking kind of good. Did my first cleanup with the mat, and it's not that bad. I, there is some gold, there is some color in the pan, so I can't wait to just separate it even more and see, see how much gold I got. But I'm gonna repan this, and I'm gonna measure it. I'm gonna take it out, and I'm gonna separate it, and we're gonna see how much gold, how much stars we accumulated in Wisconsin. But it's not bad, it's not bad. Hey, look at that, look at that. That's gold, hell yeah. Ooh, that took a lot longer than I thought. So, second cleanup done. There is a couple of pieces of gold just like chilling in like random places. So I, 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 I'm glad I did it and caught a little bit more, a tiny bit. It's not a lot, but hey, gold is gold. So I'm gonna separate it, put this in here, and I got this gold over here, and I'm gonna see how much I get with everything. So let's see. Damn, this is a mess and a half. Can't wait for this to be done. First snuffer dump of prospecting of 2022. And you guys are like, what? where is it? Where is the gold? Well, I'll show you. Let me just clean this out really fast. You guys can see it, right? Woo, baby, hell yeah. So I know what you guys are thinking. That is it? That's all you got out of, what was it? 10 hours, 10 hours? Cause I panned for like five hours one day and five hours other day. Not bad. It's not a lot. This is a, this is a 16 inch pan. 
So uh, it's not that much, but hey, first outing of the year, and hell yeah, there's an actual smile. Fudge yeah. So let's get this weighed out and see how much it is. Even though it's not a lot, uh, this is great. I've only been prospecting three, maybe four times, and this is the most I've ever gotten. So I'm super excited. What do we have here? Do we have gold? <gasps> is that a gold smile that I see? It's not a lot, but hey, for me, from Illinois, Illinoisian, um, I can't complain. This is a great amount of gold and I can't wait for the next outing. So let's get some more. Well, we are ready. We're ready to see all the flower gold we got. Look at that. And this is it. Let's see how much we got. Out of curiosity. I know you guys are gonna be like, wow, that's all you got? That's crazy. You drove five hours for nothing? Hey, it's moving, all right? It's moving. The juice is moving. There's a little bit of black uh, sand in it, but the scale is moving as we keep pushing more and more gold out of here. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's not that much. 0 0.05. 0 0.05, come on. Let's get 0 0.05. 0.05 yay 0 0.05 minus some like big chunks in here that are in here because it's kind of hard to get in there but hey I'm gonna try to get it out 0 0.05 0 0.05 hooray and I got the black chunks out of here so that's awesome 0 0.0 hey my camera won't even do it 0 0.05 of gold my biggest haul to date. I know it's not a lot, and you guys are like, wow, this bitch drove five hours for this? Hell yeah, I drove five hours for this, and I can't wait to drive another five hours for this, because it's just fun. Being in nature, meeting some new friends, some random people on a river, just to share the same hobby, and I cannot complain. I was only there for a day. I only slept there for a day, and I left. So I cannot complain, guys. Hell yeah, .05, my biggest haul of prospecting. Well, yeah, so I did drive five hours to get 0 0.05 of gold. <laughs> so what? It was fun. It was fun as hell. Uh, all the fun adventures, the animals we saw, the shit we burned, uh, the stories, campfires, the food, the adventures, the just the stupidity that we all have uh, as prospectors. And now I'm like slowly becoming a prospector, even though I'm not like a prospector because I'm like not finding a lot of gold. But I live in Illinois, so there's no gold by me. I got drive far or fly far. So this is what I get and I can't complain. Um, just uh, had some fun times with AU Guys Prospecting and uh, Wisconsin Gold Rush and uh, Charles's brother from AU Guys Prospecting, uh, Mr. Mike. Uh, we all had fun times, fun adventures, and they got some gold, I got some gold. We fell, we laughed. Uh, it was fun. Found some turtles and just like random stuff. So uh, I can't wait for the next outing. I don't care if I'll get 0.2 next time. 0.2, I wish. 0 0.02 or 0 0.06 and be my record. Maybe I'll find a picker or 17. But next time, there'll be more gold because I only got to stay a day, not even because I had stuff to do. You know, life comes first. So. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the random uh, span of me not doing anything. Uh, I broke my camera and I don't even know if it's gonna be good audio quality, video quality, because I can already see the aura and the light. So we shall see. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, until next time, uh, hopefully I'll be around more. Hopefully. Hopefully is the plan. So stay tuned. Peter, get away out of here. Time to clean up some uh, of the garbage that we uh, left everywhere before the wife comes home. So uh, yeah, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the haul of the first 2022 outing is here in this tray and I can't wait to get more. So stay tuned.